Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing spring maintenance on a bicycle. To do this, we need to use a degreaser. I use Spray 9, a bottle of clean water, two different lubrications. One's for the fork, one is for everything else. A brush, a multi-tool for bikes, a flathead screwdriver, and I use a 12-volt air compressor, but you can also use just a regular bike pump. I also use a Feedback Sports bike stand, and I've linked everything in the description below. For those new to maintaining their bikes, we'll go over some of the simple components. You've got the front tire and rim, you've got the front spokes, the front hub, the front fork. Some of these are suspension, some of them are just a straight fork. Next we have the brakes. These are V-brakes on this bike. Next, we have the headset. It's important to make sure that your headset is tight because if it isn't, you may ovalize out the front of the frame, which can get really costly with a potential of a frame replacement. Here you have the crank and the bottom bracket, the front sprockets, the front derailleur, the rear derailleur and the cassette, the rear tire, rim, spokes, and the rear brakes. I'll start by degreasing the entire bike using Spray 9, making sure to really soak everything and then brushing it down. It's important to get into every single nook and cranny because any small piece of dirt or debris can really do some damage to some of these finer components. Once you're done with the degreaser, you want to go ahead and spray it all down with water. You can use a hose, but if you don't have access to one like me, you can go ahead and use a spray bottle to get everything off. Once everything's dry, you then want to apply a lubricant to every moving component on the bike. I recommend a bike specific lubricant, and in this instance I use Purple Extreme. on installing these wheels, you never want to turn the lever side and you always want to make sure your brakes are reinstalled. Now that the bike is completely clean and lubricated, we can go ahead with the adjustments. These are the high and low screws for the front derailleur and these exist as well on the rear derailleur just right here. You can use these to adjust the positions of the derailleurs and you can also change tension on the cables on the ends indicated. A quick note about what is called cross-chaining, and this is where you're running on either extremes on your derailleurs. This is not good because it can cause some wear and tear on your derailleurs and your chain. So it's best to try and use gear sets from front to back where your chain is running straight moving front to back. So you can visually see this when you look at the chain from the back or from above. On this specific bike, we're going to do a few brake adjustments, just realigning the pads on the rim itself. I 
also went ahead and tightened up the cables on these brakes. This pulls the pads closer to the rim and it decreases the amount that you have to pull on the lever to stop the bike. We'll then fill the tires up to the correct pressure. This is noted on the sidewall of the tire. For this specific one, it's 40 to 65 PSI. So I go ahead and use a 12 volt air compressor connected to a vehicle to fill them up. I'll then use a product called Dry Lube to lubricate the front forks. So I apply some just around the forks themselves and then cycle the forks a few times to get the lubrication throughout. Lastly, I'll go through the bike again, making sure that all the adjustments are correct and everything's nice and tight. And you're good to go and ready for the trails.